live. Big shout out to Mecca Audio YouTube. My nigga unique. You know Mecca Audio, they out there doing their thing. Haul them to the fullest, baby. You know how we do? Yeah, Mecca Audio, nigga. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Make a what? Make a audio. Make a what? Make a audio. I want to uh, talk about that Raising Cain joint. Just the breakdown of whatever episode it is, four or five, something like that. You know what I mean? <clears throat> it was real interesting because I like where it's going. I see what it did, what they're trying to do. You know what I mean? And uh, But in that Raising Cain joint, they had a couple of scenes that's worthy of being talked about. You know what I mean? We're going to start with the one when dude got locked up, when Kanan got locked up and he called the teacher, you know, Rock's man to come get him. You know what I mean? He calls the teacher and the teacher comes. So then once the teacher comes, it's like when they leave, he wanted him to not tell his mother. How do y'all feel about Kanan not wanting the teacher to tell his mother? I think the response that homeboy gave was 100% on point couldn't have said it no better but how do y'all see the way Kanan asked Rock's man not to tell Rock that he picked him up from the police station now I'm gonna break that down simple that was deep because the teacher told him I'm not gonna tell her but if she asks I won't lie I'm not gonna tell her but if she asks, I won't lie. You understand what I'm saying? Because your loyalty is to your woman or your loyalty is to your family. And you don't lie to them under no circumstances, no matter how bad the truth may hurt. No matter how bad you feel the truth may hurt. Because them finding out again, you understand? From somebody else is even more painful than hearing it from you where the two of y'all could deal with it and decide to keep it, you know, under the wraps or whatever. You understand what I'm saying? So, never lie to your family members is the, is the motto to this, this. You never lie to your family members, no matter how hard the truth may be. I know we heard that growing up, but we need to really live by that. You know what I mean? We need to really live by that. Um, yeah, he wanted to protect his mother. You know what I mean? from being upset, but <clears throat> that would have upset the relationship. That would have upset Rock and her man's relationship by him agreeing to keep a secret with him. Cause you don't conspire with anyone other than your mate. You know what I mean? And that's because that's under law. You don't conspire with anyone, not even your child or a child, you know what I mean? Okay, you're talking about conspiring. Okay. Dude see uh, uh uh dude see girl out on the corner. You understand what I'm saying? And dude like girl. You understand? So dude decide to push up on Shorty. You understand what I'm saying? Shorty best friend is dead, you know? Shorty best friend is dead. She peaked the move. Shorty knows her man. So Shorty tells her man, don't do that. You know what I mean? Because you know you got a good dude, whatever, whatever, whatever. You know all that crap that you women talk. But Shorty putting it on her about how this dude is a good dude and you ain't supposed to do that. And you know, I know him, I know you. Don't put me in the middle of this by you talking to a nigga right here where you know I be at, where I got to see and sanction this and I don't have a say-so in this. And your man who I respect as a man, you know what I mean? Because I know he loves you as a woman, you know? I, I don't want to have to lie to him. So don't put me in a situation to lie. And then Shorty tell him, because if he asks me, I'm going to tell him. Because if he asks me, I'm going to tell him. So don't make me have to lie to him. And my loyalty is to you, but you effing up. So Shorty gives her that good advice. And she said, you know what? You right, my best friend. You understand what I'm saying? But then she turns around and she do it anyway. You know what I mean? 
do you think that her girlfriend is wrong for telling her man like she told she was going to tell her she was going to do if she didn't agree to it? What y'all think? Could I get somebody tuned in? Let me see who we got here that got the balls to tune in. I want to hear somebody else's opinion to that because I feel that one was deep. You know what I mean? Would she be wrong if she told? You understand what I'm saying? Would she be wrong if she told? That's what I want to know. You know? I don't think she'll be wrong because she told us straight up. You know what I mean? Give me your word as my sister, girl. You know what I mean? That I'm not, you know, that you ain't going to do this to your man because you know you got a good man and I know your man. You don't brought me in your life with your man. So don't bring me into your life with your man to want me to lie to your man. You know what I mean? So that's what I want to know. Who think that Shorty would be wrong for telling her man after she gave her full warning? Huh? That's what I want to know. You know? I don't see, I don't, it, it, it's a tricky question, but it's not a tricky question because it's real. Because she told her right there or off the rip. You understand what I'm saying? Where she was at and what she was feeling. You know what I mean? And the loyalty she had to her as her girl to make sure she don't mess up a good thing. You follow me? All right? But now we're going to bounce off that. I'm going to go to the other joint when, you know, uh, uh, the brother, you know, the wildcat, the one that was schooling the white chick, told him that he didn't have feelings for no chick and all this, and that, dang, dang, dang. But that one, when he ran the red Mercedes Benz into the back of the van that they were stealing all the money in. You know what I mean? I think that was fake. I think they should have really been able to speak. You know what I mean? What up, Tina Love? You know? Um, I think they really should have been able to speak. Because when he ran into the back of that joint, he screwed up. He allowed the money to get taken. I think this episode, he should have been chastised some type of way. You don't get a van load of money taken in a drug, drug game and don't get chastised no matter who you is. You know what I mean? So don't get that twisted. You don't get a lot. I'm going to say it again so you fully understand. You don't get a lot of chances to screw up a man's hundreds of thousands of dollars or millions of dollars and then they just go back to work and like everything is hunky-dairy, whether it's your brother or your sister or your mother or your cat. You know what I mean? Yeah, I see you, Jazz and I. You know what I mean? But that's where we at. You know, this episode, he should have been chastised. They went right back to acting as if nothing happened. You know what I mean? But yet they're showing, you know, unique emotional and carrying on, as he should. You know what I mean? To put the fire in this man's ass, but that don't mean that's how he feel. But that's what he should do, to put the fire in their ass. Because the king got to be a chameleon. You got to know how to show all sides. You know what I mean? So when it's time to rile up the lions, that's when you got to put on your big boy cape and rile up the lions. That way they prepared that they get ready to go to war with rocking the boys. You know what I mean? That's what I was waiting to see. The joint is moving too so slow pace to be a real life gangster story, in my opinion, for being a life guy's gangster. I'm just keeping it real. You know what I mean? You got to show both sides. You show Nicky motion and then you walking around like nothing happened, still spend money doing all this. If you did all that and you feel you got that much money, Rock, you need to get out the game because you already paid. If you're taking losses and, you know what I mean, drag your ass to recoup and playing these little games, come on, dog, who's writing this crap? You know what I mean? Somebody tell me who's writing this crap, man. That shit don't happen in real life, man. You know what I mean? That shit don't happen. Because whether or not you care about the money, because it ain't even about the money, it's about the disrespect. And the dude ran up in mines and took mines. Now I got an issue. Dude ran up in my spot and took mines. I don't care if it was a dollar or a hundred thousand dollars. Dude ran in my spot and took mines. That, that's how we think as gangsters. Because we think from our pride. Because we feel we the king of our jungle. You know what I mean? Don't even get it twisted. You know, but that's where we at, man. You know, but I feel that sh dude should have been chastised, this joint. And uh, Rock didn't even chastise him. You know what I mean? Then I had a little discrepancy about when she found Kanan's uh, bloody shirt. You know what I mean? I mean, she knew what happened. 
You know what I mean? Because she knew about the murder. She knew he was at the joint. But it was just the whole point. Me, at first, when I seen it, I felt like, you know what I mean? She should have had him tell her what happened as a man. Knowing his mama ain't never going to tell on him. But just ask him as a man to let him tell her. You understand what I'm saying? So they could have talked about it. Because we got to be our own therapist in the hood. We don't pay fancy therapists. We talk to old heads in each other. Each other that's alike and each other that's unalike. You know what I mean? That's how we get a balance. You know? But that's where we at. So, you know what I mean? Cultivated hands, what up? But, you know, just so you know, two names, I can just round it up. You know, we was talking about, oh, nah, you know what? I want to talk about that other crap. What about this Spanish chick? I was going to save her for next week, but what about this Spanish chick? You know, what label would you give the Spanish chick, you know, Rock's brother's girl that's dealing with the studio? What label would y'all give her? I, I really want to see you say something before, before I tell you what my opinion is. Because that's all this is, is my goddamn opinion. You know what I mean? What, you, what label would you give Rock's brother's girl? Somebody say something. You know what I mean? Well, I'm going to give you my answer. Because by now, they should be popping in. Yo, she ain't nothing but an opportunist, man. She ain't nothing but an opportunist. Rock brother moving soft. You know what I mean? You see, she's a jump off, my nigga. You know what I mean? Stop trying to impress her by having to pull money out to pay for the studio, which was good because you got your niece on the joint. But your motive for doing that, you know what I mean? There you go, uh, cultivating hands. You know, your motive, for, your motive for doing that is to impress this jump off, man. Yeah, she look good. She the type to have on her arm, play the cards, do all that. But then at the end of the day, she's just a smut. So if you know what it is, you got to treat a smut like a smut or a smut going to treat you like a buster because she's not respecting him. That's why she all over the Spanish dude. You know what I mean? But it wasn't even like, for real, for real, if you want to pick on that part, in real life, they should have they should have wrote the script out where that Rock's brother was the one to bring it up that this nigga was broken behind by even asking a white boy what was there. Yo, everything I, you know what I mean? Everything paid up to the set just like that if he felt like, you know, the nigga was down with money, having money issues. That way his girl would have seen him making a power move. You understand what I'm saying? His girl would have seen him making a power move saying, yo, what's up, man? I see your money fucked up. You're just in the way right now. You're not even qualified to get my girl, much less. But what you need to get right? That's how he should have played it right there in front of him, man. I'm just telling you, that's some OGG shit, man. All that having to pull the money out, the white boy saying, oh, we ain't been paid, and the Spanish boy saying, oh, you're going to put the family business out? Yeah, nigga, I ain't been paid my wife ready to take me to child support court. I watched the whole joint. It resonated after the first time because that's real life shit, but they're giving the gazy ass answers. That white dude shouldn't have been the one to bring it up that he ain't been paying the bills. You know, that whole money transaction part. You know what I mean? That part should have went straight through Rock's brother letting me know, like, yo, what's up? You know, everything in here good because I'm trying to get my sister on this joint, so, you know? And that's it. And then the white boy would have jumped in and said whatever, just like he did. But Rock needed to initiate that to, to me to make that official because then he would have been playing the Spanish boy in front of his girl on some you, real unique G shit. You understand what I'm saying? But instead, she's jumping all on his lap, and you know what I mean? She hugging the other dude, and she working the two of them right there. The Spanish dude knows his girl, so all he's doing is waiting on his chance to get into a telly and blow a goddamn back out and send it back with a wet, wet quatch to her, man. You know what I mean? And he's sitting there like a goddamn buster accepting this when she's showing you she's an opportunist, my nigga. She's showing you she's an opportunist and jump off. So that's how you treat her. You can't treat a hoe like a housewife because it don't go together. It just don't. You know what I mean? Because the hoe going to do what she's going to do. So either you accept the hoe for who the hoe she is, you know what I mean? Or you don't. You know what I mean? And that's where that's at. But don't get it twisted. You know? I'm just keeping it 100. This is what I noticed from the show. I don't know what y'all watching for or what you looking at it, but that's how I noticed it. That girl dead cold, he should have played that Spanish boy out. That way he let the Spanish boy know like, nigga, I know she's an opportunist, but I got this. 
So now she's leaning back towards him that he pulled out the money and pulled him out of debt and exposed him that he was, you know, dead broke at the moment. But it should have been Rock's brother that initiated that. That's who should have initiated that scene. You know, that's how I see it. You know what I mean? If I'm saying it wrong, I'm saying it wrong. You know what I mean? But that's for my uh, youthful eyes. You know, from being out there doing all that crap way back then, that shit ain't about nothing. You know what I mean? But that's where we at, man. We got some new videos over there, Unique Maker Audio with YouTube. We just been chilling, you know what I mean? Riding the last of the summer out, you know? But that's where we at. So I'm getting ready to tune in and tune out, keep this short and to the point, man. All right? Cheers, cheers, the crime, 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 the Yes, you pay attention to this Real. Take a little gully, posse, and put it in home uh, He cut from the bottom, back. came up from the bottom back. Drop the book, you should go and get it go An get Instagram it. page and a YouTube, you could go and visit yeah. Then you could consider yourself LinkedIn Real. Sit front row and get juice from a kingpin uh -huh. How he went through it, so you ain't gotta go do it uh -huh. Did not pay attention would be stupid Talking about a man that probably put your grandfather on Probably the reason that him and your grams got along A man that generated millions on the block did it's time, never squealing to the cops, make an audio. Hey. Get, get it live like two G's in the night. Uh, Drop top uh, beamer so shine. Uh, uh, I let shorty go, she was wine. wine. Treat her like my past, she behind me. Uh, Spin a couple bands on the dapper dan. Uh, you be back again, getting green like a Packers fan. Uh, no cap, this a roaring uptown. Uh, Baby horn uptown, Dominican bust downs. Uh, now we on the positive, uh, you we got a lot to give. Uh, now you trying uh, to stop the kids from being inoperative. Uh, so take heed, homie, lend the air. Uh, he started in uptown, he gon' finish there. Town, but now around. it ain't about selling drugs, buying cars It's nope. about buying property to make the community ours So we can get back to the youth, them, you